Uh, yeah, it was like a dogfight out there. Um, we kept coming back and uh, we just couldn't get over the hump for the longest, but um, we just stuck with it. And then for a quarter, we just dug deep and uh, finally got the lead and, and kept it. And, um, and yeah, eventually got the dub. How did those conversations turn out to the halftime, et cetera, as the shots are falling? But Judy's talking about how they were books that you guys normally get and everything you liked them, they just weren't falling to it. So like, what were those conversations like, and how do you kind of balance that with that in the game? Uh, yeah, we were just trying to stay as consistent as possible, always making the right plays. Shot weren't weren't necessarily falling, but I mean that's the best shots we could get. So um, we just try to keep keep making the right plays and um, just keep going um, and staying consistent. And eventually the, the shots started falling, and then we got the lead. So. And Jamie talked about your impact tonight, but almost those two plays in the game, but also just on both ends of the floor. What were you seeing just the way through it and how did those threes feel good? Uh, yeah, I uh, feel good. Um, the threes for sure. I've um, been working on it. Um, it's starting to pay off um, slowly, but um, yeah, I was just staying active on both ends of the floor um, on offense and defense and um, defensive end. Um, just trying to really help uh, the guards and the pick and rolls. They're running a lot of pick and rolls, so just helped them out and also rebounding as well. So um, that's what I was really uh, focusing on throughout the whole entire game. Um, yeah, I'm pretty comfortable. Um, both of those two, I, I felt really good. Um, and I mean, they went down, so uh, it was good uh, to feel that. And, uh, I'm just going to keep going, keep shooting when I'm open, and um, also attack it at the same time. So uh, they have to respect both. And how much does Jared being out change things for you on both ends of the floor when you have to play five? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just more at the five, so um, in more uh, pick and rolls, um, just in more um, rebounding opportunities, just a little bit more um, than at the four. But um, m my responsibility is still protecting the paint, and, um, and similar responsibilities is just I'm more in uh, pick and rolls throughout the game. Is it difficult for you to play alongside another center that's not Jared? Um, I mean, not necessarily. Uh, I feel like um, me and Jared has uh, created that chemistry. Um, we've been playing well together so far, but um, when he's out, uh, we just next man up. And um, I feel like uh, I can play just as well with the next man as, as Jared. So, um, uh, yeah. Jared, uh, you held the Pistons to 16 points in the fourth quarter. What what changed defensively? What, was there anything specific that went into uh, limiting them uh, in scoring wise? Um, I think we played a little bit more physical um, coming on the fourth, which threw their uh, timing off a little bit and stuff like that. So, um, and when we got the stops, we came down and um, and started hitting uh, more shots as well. So um, the momentum started shifting towards our way. So um, that was just our game plan the whole time, just staying consistent um, on defense and then um, on offense, getting our best shots and um, eventually they're going to fall. I know we've talked a lot um, this season about you finding an often, offensive rhythm. Um, what have you just noticed when we're almost a quarter of the way through just about that and the floor field and how it's grown through this through the 20 games or so? Um, yeah, uh, I mean, consistency is the name of the game. Um, I'm just trying to be as consistent as possible. I'm um, always just uh, watching film and, and trying to get better um, and attack where I see the best options and um, and just make the best play out of it every uh, position I get. So um, that's what I've been focusing on. And um, some games aren't going to be your game, but uh, you just got to stay consistent, keep working, and uh, eventually everything's going to fall into place. What are those conversations been like with, with JB and, and the other coaches that you've worked with just about like? the elements you're working on on the offensive end and just kind of end up like figuring out and working through that consistency. Um, yeah, it's just been mostly a lot of film um, on where I can get my shots and spots and um, how I can uh, attack and uh, affect other teammates as well um, with my passing as well. So um, just been, yeah, a lot of film and, and watching other players as well to just keep getting better.
Thank you. 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 Thank you.